I wonder, Vanessa, with this picture of her, I wonder if men are responding to her the way they respond to Casey Anthony. Because I really think, when I look at this picture, I think about Casey Anthony. There's, you know? There's always some idiot that can only see her hotness. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I think most people, because a child is involved, I think they would be oh more reserved and saying, child. oh, she's hot. This uh. is unconscionable. I cannot understand this. Well, wait, Vanessa, this. I have something good for you. I have something. Uh, they record a jailhouse call to the mom, between the mom and this Munoz character, oh. and Melinda asked her mom, can't they say I'm mentally ill or something? Oh. Vanessa, come on now. We'll use a See, and this is the problem, Dr. Drew. This not is, a problem. Yes. It's not a problem. It doesn't make her any less sinister. I'm sure she is mentally ill. No, and, no, no, no. Dr. And, Drew, well, not, no. not mentally ill so no. much as, wait, wait, I'm sure there's a brain explanation no. for it, no. but she's evil. There, that's she's it. Evil. Period. Evil, and that's evil. the problem. Right. That's how people yeah. cannot draw the distinction between pure evil and mental illness, and that is where the stigma comes in, right. and that is yeah. why people get so mad when people plead insane and then get off, so to speak, because you have idiots like this taking those words and manipulating them and using them and trying to get off on child murder. This is unconscionable, and it's just disgusting, and if I could, if I was related to this, I, I think I'd put my hands around her neck. I'd put duct tape on her mouth. This is just, I can't even fathom how someone thinks this is okay because a man wants to dump you you're cheating on him he should dump you yeah, but dr right. drew he was looking for she she does these horrible things because this wasn't the first time she also pretended that she was mugged so she could get sympathy yeah. from mm -hmm. this boyfriend so dr drew please don't tell me that this is some form of munchausen's by no, proxy no, because no, she's no, getting no, sympathy no. by doing her horrendous no. acts look she may okay, have been good. a trauma she may have been a trauma survivor and that may have been why she gravitated towards thinking of herself as a victim and recreating traumatization yeah. and creating chaos and all this stuff but she's missing a part of her brain. Yeah. She's missing a part of the brain that's, that's I, mean, I hear Yulani saying, yes, yes, yes. The part where you develop empathy, where people actually exist as separate agents. That child was just a a, a tool for her to get right. at the at the boyfriend because she was angry. It was revenge. It was revenge. And Dr. Drew, there are some people that are just pure evil. You look into their eyes and you can tell they're pure evil. And that's what this woman was. Well, that's what I was thinking about Casey Anthony. I, that's, yeah. you, you saw those pictures. She sort of feels familiar when you look at it, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and it is interesting because actually part of her defense was she said she was a domestic violence victim that right. that this um, guy had you know abused her and Just so like she Jody. kills the oh child. Just like Jody. Yeah, she kills the child. She doesn't even kill the alleged right. abuser. She kills the two-year-old helpless child. So that that didn't fly at all. So Joe, we're saying so the, the score here is Jody's better than this one. This Ugh. this one. Oh, right. You can't compare the two. Well, we can compare them. I mean, look at them. They it's something eerily okay, familiar in both, both those faces. Both I'm telling you what. Crazy eyes. I